Hello everybody, this is Chromosco018, and this is going to be my thoughts on Toradora Episode 10. I know I haven't done these in a while, and just so you guys are clear, if you forgot, I've already finished Toradora because I ended up binging the show, and I finished it, I think, before the show, before... When did I finish it? Either before uh, the end of 2018 or right before the end of January, I'm not sure which. But I did finish it. So, it essentially leaves off where the last episode ended. Where they found all that stuff in their beds and now they're freaked out that there might actually be a ghost. And uh, Ryuji ends up making breakfast for everybody, beating Kitamura to, uh, Kushieta to it. And... Yeah, they end up talking, and she makes a comment about how whoever she, he ends up marrying will be the luckiest girl in the world. And things kind of get a little awkward before everybody else starts showing up. And after they eat, they actually go to the beach. And Yuji goes to tell Ami, you know, come on, it's time to go. And she's thankfully done changing into a bathing suit. And she's still trying to get at him at this point, because she's trying to essentially flirt with him, and he's not having it, obviously, because he's not interested in her. And while they're uh, in the beach, at the beach, uh, Kitamura goes to set up the scares for Minari. And when I say that, I actually mean, a, you know, to scare Minari. Because, yeah, you know, that could be taken either way, but... When he comes back, he tries to t get Ami to show them the cave that I guess he set the stuff up in, and she kind of refuses unless... But she finally, uh, conceded after, uh, Ry I think Ryuji talked to her? It was either her or Taiga talked to her. I'm not sure which. But anyway, they go in there, and Kinemore's attempts... Uh, the others probably did better. Because he tried to get something slimy to land on, fly on uh, Minari's face. She ducks. And that ends up getting Taiga in the face by accident, because she's shorter. And it ends up being fried tofu on a string. And they both, both Ryuji and Ami agree that Kitamura can't be smart, but he's incredibly stupid too at the same time. And they end up running past a couple of things, and... Yeah, it turns out there might be something creepy in there anyway, because there's something in there that ne none of them did. And, uh, let's see what else ends up happening. Ami tries to leave because she's getting bored of all this, and Ryuji goes after her. When he hears her, I think when he hears her scream, and he tries to tell her, you know, don't worry, everybody's going to be able to find us because their batteries on their flashlights ended up dying. And Ami t essentially reveals that she's, you know, mess she's messing with him. She's only pretending. And she lets him know that if uh, he and Minari were to start dating, he she knows that he would never ever be mean to her, which is not essentially a balanced, healthy relationship. Because, you know, there's going to be some times where you're going to get mad at your significant other for whatever reason, and vice versa. And that essentially is a balanced relationship. If you're just going to be nice to your, per to your significant other all the time, even when they do something wrong, then that's not really a smart idea. And she tries to tell him that Minari is probably not the best girl for you, it's probably me, but as this goes on, we hear some more screaming, and the others, and they start running back the way they came. And Minari apparently went on ahead and got caught by something, and Kinemura goes after her. And the others start chasing after them, and we find out that... <coughs> gotcha! They knew the whole time, and they were pranking Ryuji and Taiga. Yeah, Minari wasn't stupid. She essentially knew that they were trying to scare her. And she did reverse psychology on Taiga when she told her that she, was she didn't like scary stuff. And she actually loves scary stuff. And actually, I think before they went down to the cave... Uh, Ryuji talked to Minari a bit. What am I hearing? 
Oh. Probably this. Um. Anyway. Yeah, we find out that Minari got Kitamura to try and mess with them, essentially. And they ended up messing with Taiga and Ryuji because of this. To show them, you know, how it's really done. How you really scare somebody. And essentially, while uh, Ryuji and Minari are talking before they went down to the cave, I think. Is it with it went? I think it was before they went down to the cave, because... I mean, I'm thinking of the episode before, I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, they start talking, and she talks about how she can't wait, to, she really wants to be able to see things like UFOs, ghosts, aliens, stuff like that. And that essentially, I think, is her metaphor for she wants to be able to find love someday. Or to be happy, or something, I can't remember exactly what, if it's actually a metaphor, I think it is. And Ryuji agrees with her. Because, so that made me think that maybe it was love that they were talking about. And while they're on the beach, later after the cave incident, uh, there are fireworks going off, and Ryuji ends up telling her that I think I see UFOs, and I think that's his way of saying that he actually does... I don't, I don't really know. I don't know anymore. I don't get Minari. She's kind of odd. But she does care. I will say that. Anyway, everybody is heading back after that thing, so I'm guessing that they still got a lot of time before spring break, before uh, they go back to school over summer break. I think it was summer break. Anyway, that was essentially the episode. I don't really have too much to talk about. But if you guys have anything you guys want to talk about, if you want to fill me in on anything that I didn't understand, feel free to. And if you enjoyed this and you have not subscribed yet, I recommend doing so because I try to upload at least a few times a week. Maybe those times end up being on the same day. It just depends on when I can upload. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all next time.